We have to be close. We have to be close. Whoa! These guys again! Um, well, we know the drill. They want to use their boomerangs? Let me show you mine. Very simple. Giant ant-like enemies. These, these are... A nice little unique Zelda enemy that has never been explored before. Just a blue portal, huh? That's all you got? Hmm. This is a big lever that we can't move ourselves. So, we have our own quality help. Push it! Okay, so now that we've done that, indeed, the element will be as good as mine. I suppose it's important for me to remember that there were a number of frozen chests that way. So, I'm, wait, no, I went, I went that way. How the fuck did we get to the other side? Huh, whatever. But again, yes, important to remember that we had a lot of frozen chests, so go back and check pretty much all of them when you have the ability to melt ice. Dun dun dun! So obviously we have a chest over here. We want to open the chest up. Always go off the beaten path a little bit. You get a kinstone piece as your lovely reward. This is one hell of a fucking floor trap. Wow. Alright. Now there is a silver lining, because there are two rewards on this path. The first reward is, well, the path ahead. The other path leads to a dead end, but that dead end features a kinstone beast! So, you can spare yourself a trip and just use the gust jar to get both. You cheater. You dirty cheater! Alright. So, continue on down. We've got to be close. Seriously. This is a two-step puzzle. We heard some rumbling, but we didn't see anything happen. That's because this platform results. Haha, -ha. two-step puzzle. So now that you have the sunlight peeking down this way, you go back down and you set the lever again. Nice and easy. And soon we won't have to worry about any of this sunlight shit because eventually the game is going to give me what I need. Now... I may end up having... Uh, no, I'm going the right way, that's right. So here, small key. Well, this is a very interesting little area. Open up the light. Oh shit, we just let something in. Oh no! It's blue! It's another big choo choo! Except this time it's blue, so it can electrify the shit out of you. Do not let it electrify the shit out of you. Um, and it seems that you cannot actually suck this guy in until his uh, electric aura is gone. Oh! I've actually taken an alarming amount of damage. Come on, game, work with me here. There we go. Oh, I was one tick away, really. Drop your ass down. Ugh! Come on, three exchanges of this should put me in a situation where I can 
and succeed here. No, do not. Do not stick me in a corner, you stun locker. All right, there we go. Where are you going to drop? Where are you going to drop? Where are you going to drop? Don't drop on my face, you stupid numb nut. No! Get your stupid brain dead smile out of my face, you stupid choo choo! I had. Oh, at least I have a fairy. I shouldn't die to this thing to begin with. Come on. I got one more exchange to go around with you. There we go! think so. Not this time. You're not going to hit me again, you prick. Die! That's right. Up yours. Give me what I deserve. The flame lantern? The lantern actually serves a useful purpose besides lighting your way? That's right. They decided to make the fire rod and the flame lantern an all-in-one item, I guess. Except it's nowhere near as useful as the fire rod. But if you don't have magic power, I guess it really doesn't make that big of a difference. So. Again, there are a tremendous amount of... Well, I already went that way. There are a tremendous amount... Ah, I went that way too. There are a tremendous amount of chests that we still have yet to get. So the question is, what's the best way? Hmm. In looking at this, I would say going downstairs. Aha! I'm correct. 100 roops! So, now that we have the flame lantern, one would think that we could just immediately thaw this fucking... I uh, this is not good. Um It's a trap. Oh boy, this is definitely a, a serious fucking trap. No. Okay, I have to have this lantern out. At least to if not to light my way, then at the very least to be able to see two feet in front of me. It's not the most ideal of circumstances. Ideally, I would be using my boomerang. Damn it. I'm having difficulty on standard fucking enemies. Move it! There we go. Oh boy, this room. I know this room. Thanks, game. So, open the way. Scumbag! Okay, so let's continue on. Let's actually get this chest right now because it'd be a good thing to do. Red Kenstone piece! I don't like how low I am on energy. I really don't. It's unnerving. So, poof that lantern. That block goes bye-bye. And this is an imp I did it again. Somehow I did that spin attack in the middle of that motion again of, of rolling. Roll into spin attack. I How do you do that? Alright, I have to have the lantern out for this. The light is just so... Ugh. I'll tell you what it is. The night is dark and full of terrors. So do not be terrified. Get the key. Oh! Damn it. I 
I'm going to need a fairy, like, badly at some point. So I want to go back this way. That's seriously going to be annoying if this thing's going to play the whole time. Kinstone piece, that's fine. Get rid of a block in my way. And now that I have the key, there is un indubitably an unlocked, or a locked door on the other side, which means... I have the key to it, which means, thank God, there's a heart. Alright. Another kinstone piece. Voila! No! Oh, shit. Oh, this is one fucked up area! Oh. Why am I losing? This is not a hard dungeon. It's not. I'll tell you what the problem is. I refused to give one of the oracles a house. So because I didn't give one of the oracles a house, I must now pay the price by sucking. So this is a multi-phase part. First you push this, so you have enough leverage for this. And then you go down here, you split into again. Over here. And down here. Split again. Reposition yourself so you can push the block back because like this is the only block I think ever in Zelda history that you can push mind. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. You can push it back after pushing it the first time. Oh, fuck. I remember this puzzle. There's not going to be anything here to screw with me? Really? Really? Um. Hmm. So, obviously, this is... Start here. But with the ringing, please stop. I don't want to have to use a fairy now. I really don't want to have to use a fairy now. I want to save that for an important time. <laughs> up or down. Up or down. Up or down. I don't think it matters. But I'm going to push it down anyway. It shouldn't matter. Up or down, either way, you still have the same amount of space between them. So, what we want is a three wide gap. So, put one there, and one there. Well, that was exceedingly close. There we go. Nice and easy. So yeah, you could have done that both ways. Ah, uh, ah, uh, away from me, you fucking fire snakes. Damn. Alright. So, pretty basic. We have an ice block covering our Splitomatic. Splitomatic! That sounds like a better name. Push, 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 mush. Okay. Is this the extent of this puzzle? Light all nine of these fucking lanterns? There we go. Easy. Um, up, and down, and we have another ant enemy. No, uh, what are these things called? Well, I'll make you drown. I'll make you drown. 
I'd really like to kill one of these guys so that they can give me some energy. Haha! -ha! Thanks for the kinstone piece, but I really would have preferred hearts, actually. That Picolite might have been a good thing to... I still haven't done the Picolite! Hearts, 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 hearts. Don't drop your milk duds on me. Damn it. Fucking milk duds. I don't think so. Alright, so... I think I'm close. I think I'm really close, as a matter of fact. Not another lit air- Oh no, you sadistic bastards. So, another way that you can get rid of these uh, spider webs is by basically colliding into them while you're holding the lantern. It's a little finicky sometimes, but for the most part it works. Get rid of as many of them as you can because you do not want to be in a situation where you are bouncing off the walls into them. So, two of these guys, in the dark, probably going to be the toughest that they're ever going to get. There you go, down one. And down two. That's what I like to see. Efficiency. Alright. And there's still that block down there. Alrighty. Two more moldozers in my way. Guys, I'm telling you, this is hard. And, and not hard in like the difficulty sense. It's hard continuing to go on despite all of the horribly awful odds that are against me. I have to press on. I have to do it. I have to. And there we go! Unleash that element! Give me it! Oh, I can finally- what in the blazes- what? No! Don't thaw out the Octorok! You douchebag! That stupid Octorok stole our element. Hearts. Thank God for hearts. Oh. It's always one of those interesting video game tropes. Like, are they actual hearts that your character is, like, devouring? Oh, Link, you and your black magic. Now, the only reason I'm going back this way is because I want to go back and get whatever the hell was on the other end of that. It's probably nothing. It's probably, like, mysterious shells or some really inane shit like that. I guarantee it is. But it's not going to stop me from trying. I have to try. 